especially to the Simone family. It was great for y'all to hear about uh, Tommy Simone and his life. I just hope that uh, I can feel some of those characteristics he was talking about um, because it's the truth. I mean, I read uh, on the internet you can read about Tommy Simone and just what he was all about. And he was a great kid, and I'm sorry for your loss, and I'm glad you're doing this award in his memory. I think that's really great. House was the first underclassman ever to win the Simone Award back in 2007. That's the year Rockers ran the table, finishing 13-0. Shieldhouse always understood there was more to the honor than just football. There's a story of life and love behind the name on that big wooden trophy. You know, Tommy and I got to be friends, uh, early on through baseball, football, basketball, playing all sports together. And he was uh, w one of those guys that at a very early age, you could tell, as I look back now, had a real positive influence on me. He was my big brother. Um, we did everything together. He was that guy that you could lean on as a teammate, made you feel good about yourself, lifted people up. He was a loving, caring young man. He was big for his age, and he wasn't, but he wouldn't let uh, the fellow classmates, you know, pick on kids that were not as fortunate or not as popular. He was um, kind of wise beyond his years, um, I would have to say. All of us probably later on as we became more athletic and got older and started learning leadership qualities. It's kind of funny you look back and Tommy had those at 10 and 11 years old. And so uh, he was a really special guy, somebody that I miss a lot. That day, um, it was the day that changed my life. Anthony Simone was writing some checks when his son told him he was going next door to the drugstore for some bubble gum. But the pharmacy was closed, so Tommy had to cross the street to a grocery store. Uh, I heard uh, a screech and uh, glass breakage and just sounded like an accident. And uh, I jumped straight up and ran outside and uh, I saw him laying up the street. You know, just driving down there, we were thinking, oh, he has a broken leg. You know, something to that extent, that's kind of what our conversation was, driving down to the hospital. Um, and it was the moment that we walked in. Um, my mom saw my dad's face, and she just fell to the floor. This is your first game, son. his spirit and I, uh, I I can't say at the time I thought that it was important other than to keep his name alive the spirit alive you know I, I still get emotional when I, when I think about it I, I look back and I remember looking at my father you know when I was standing up there getting my award and uh, thinking wow you know I mean he was so proud and, and, and then I remember looking at Anthony and, and Edie and, and you know, there, there were tears in their eyes for, for, for different reasons, you know. I mean, there was joy and, and there was sadness, you know, because, you know, I was representing, you know, I was representing their family. I was representing their son. Beyond any, any dream that I could ever have about how, where it has grown to and, and, it's, and it's all because of Tommy's spirit again and our friends and, and people that uh, 
see what the award is about and take it to heart. I get the chill. I get the chills right now just thinking about it. Knowing Anthony Needy and knowing Tommy, I'm not surprised that his memory has developed this into this. I'm not surprised that the type of person he was could have led to something like this. To see these great athletes and, and how you know it, it, this is what this is what they strive for. This is what you know the beginning of the year that you know they want you know they want to win the Simone. I mean it's like it's like the Heisman Trophy for college players. I mean they they want to win this award. Um, and I don't think until they win it and they get to the ceremony they realize the importance of what it really really is. If one, if five, if fifty of them listen to this and understand the, the mantra of the love, courage, friendship champions, then I think that's fantastic and I think he has a positive impact on a lot of young people even today. As I sit back now and just see what it's become, it is such an honor um, that people hold that in the high regard because to us, we look at it as this is the way we can carry on my brother's name. And a big thank you to Eric Ashell for putting that together as we look at the Simone family here tonight. Nathan Schilhouse, by the way, will be this year's guest speaker at the 30th annual Simone ceremony. Okay. Is this year going to be at Staley or Fort Osage or Lawrence or Blue Springs? How about we meet the final four? Let's do it. That's a pretty good group again this year. There's no doubt about that. Starting with Mizzou bound quarterback Trent Hosick. The Simone finalist. Well, I tell you, Staley football has been as good as anybody the last two years, and Trent Hosick is the main reason. You know, he had 1,500 yards passing, 1,200 yards rushing. Uh, he does a little of everything. He's a dual threat guy and is as good an individual as you're going to find off the field as well. Stephen McBee was the motor at Fort Osage, number one in his class academically. It is student athlete, that a boy, Simone finalist, 2012. Well, I tell you, Steve McBee has been starting for three years for Fort Osage, and uh, he is a little bit of everything. He throws it, he runs it, uh, he does everything they want for him, and uh, he's a, a fantastic leader on the football field. And it was great to see him take Fort Osage to the state championship game this year. And able to get the ball on occasion to his brother out at wide receiver. Yeah, he even had one touchdown pass in the game against Daly this year. Brad Strauss never came off the field at Lawrence High School, almost never, did everything but kick. Mr. Versatile well, I tell you, number 11. <laughs> I tell you, he, he, uh, he even punted, I guess, you know, Coach Wedd told me this year he made him the punter in the offseason, went and taught himself how to punt. Played D-back, played quarterback, and Lawrence football really had a renaissance his three years as the starting quarterback. Finally, Dalvin Warmack from the Class 6 state champions from Blue Springs. As dynamic a runner as we had in the Metro this season, the numbers are staggering, over 2,000 yards, over 40 touchdowns. Uh, you know, he averaged almost nine yards a carry, probably right about nine yards a carry, and running behind that great offensive line. Uh, Dalvin Warmack really took the challenge of getting bigger and stronger so he'd be able to survive a full year of Class 6 football. And, boy, he was there for every single snap, and you see what he's able to do when he was there. Of course, we haven't had an underclassman win it since Nathan Shieldhouse. It's... Typically, a lot of people think that it's just a senior award. It is possible for a junior. It, yeah, we've had a few along lines have been nominated. Nathan Shieldhouse is the first one and so far the only one to have won that award as a junior. Five years ago, let's go over to the interview area with Mick Schaefer and friends. Here are the four nominees now. Trent Hosick joins me first from Staley. Last year, nobody really ever heard of Trent Hosick, but this year you're a marked man by defenses each and every game. What was that like? Oh, it was a lot of fun. You know, it was a lot of fun carrying that role and uh, – and being that guy that, that teams had to game plan for, but uh, we had a lot of a lot of guys that they had to watch out for on the field, so it was a lot of fun this year. Now you're graduating early to go to Missouri. I don't I don't know if there's any quarterback issues there, but yeah, 16 more school days left. What's that like? You're on the verge of being being done with high school. I'm excited. I'm excited to be Missouri bound and head to Columbia and get to work and, and help them win their first national championship. That's the plan. That's the road ahead of us, and I can't wait to help them do it. All right, Trent, you promise you have a different tie for next week, different suit and everything? I already, already got it lined out, man. Okay, it's already on your bed and everything laid out? Yeah, I'm ready to go. That's the Trent Hosick we know. Thanks very much, sir. Steven, though, you can't make that same promise. You said it might be the same tie next week, huh? Uh, you know, I think I have a couple that are already tied, <laughs> so I might be able to wear another one. You're one of those guys that keeps them tied, right? Uh, absolutely. Did you tie this or did you have some help? I had to go next door. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's okay. You got a few more months. I'd say by college, maybe you should be tying your own ties. But high school, what a terrific uh, uh, season you had this year and really career overall. Why was Fort Osage so good this year? Um, because we're family oriented. Um, all these guys I've grown up around, we've played for years and years, and we all love each other. So. 
And you had literal family on the team as well. What was it like having the little brother in the backfield with you? Uh, it was such an awesome feeling. I loved lining up for uh, kickoff returns and hearing them call our names out. It was so much fun. All right, terrific. Steven, thanks very much. We'll, we'll be watching fashion-wise next right, week. Try. Brad Strauss of, uh, of Lawrence here. Did you – okay, were you, on every, were you on every play this year? Is that right? No, I was not on kickoff or kickoff return. Seriously? Why not? I don't know. Cause you can return punts. Why can't you return kickoffs? I returned kicks uh, my sophomore and junior years, but not this year. <laughs> Slacking it this year, huh? Well, your, your dad was sports information director for years for, for the University of Kansas and for other schools as well. What's it been like growing up around that environment and probably meeting a lot of those, those guys a lot of these kids looked up to? Yeah, it's been, it's been really cool. I mean, just being around, growing up around college football, just getting a good feel for what it's like at the next level. Of all the positions you play, of all 11 or 12 positions you play, quarterback the best? Yeah, I think that's – I have the most fun playing quarterback, but I love playing every position out on the field. All right, congratulations. He's a chesty lion, folks. He's a chesty lion. And then finally here, Dolphin Warmack. What you have, like 100, 200 touchdowns this year? Uh, I wish. I mean <laughs> – <laughs> It seemed like it. All right, so what, uh, what, what's, your, what's your ritual out there to touchdown? Who do you go and, like, celebrate with first? The lion. I, usually, you have to, right? Yeah, I mean, usually they'll point at me. So, well, over four, four hundred or forty touchdowns this year. Uh, well, over two thousand yards rushing. What, what, what kind of year was this? Were you expecting this big a year offensively for you? Oh no, I mean, if you'd asked me at the beginning of the season, I didn't think I'd have such a role into our uh, team. So, Sid and I uh, got to play a role. Well, Blue Springs South the year before, and then Rockers before that. What, what was it like to get Blue Springs back on top this year? I mean, it felt great. I mean, we hadn't beat Rockers at home and since 01 or 03 so I mean it was really exciting you feel comfortable up here amongst all these quarterbacks you okay with this <laughs> I mean they're all bigger than me so <laughs> Dalvin thanks very much congratulations it is a great looking bunch up here guys not just myself for once we, we like the Simone <laughs> Award candidates we'll see them next Tuesday Whatever. <laughs> I'd like to see Hosick and Bame wrestle, though, one more time. One more you think time, they might yeah. do that in I'd Columbia? Like, yeah. We'll see if we can do that when they go to school. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. Good to be I teammates. think Evan might like another shot at Trent. Yeah, he, <laughs> might, he might like that. As we go to break, another look at the best of the best from the 2012 high school football season, the underclassmen course, getting a chance to do it all again next year. More to come from the Time Warner Cable Hall of Honor inside Arrowhead as we continue on Metro Sports. <laughs>